Rated M for mature. Uh, dynamics are things that can change in a level. That could be anything from camera placements, character paths, it could be uh, even changes in geometry, so like a door is in one place. It could even mean, uh, in our new case, that if you screw up badly enough, that we put you on a completely different map in an escape instead of the scenario that you were supposed to go to. The way that it works is, you know, you, you could, for, for instance, you play the mission one time and there's a, there's a security guard in the alleyway who you see there and, you, you know, you knock him out. Actually, maybe, let's say he sees you and the mission's blown and you're screwed. Well, you play it again, that security guard, now there's two of them. Or the security guard's not there at all, except there's a woman in the window that wasn't there before and she happens to see you walking through the alleyway with a rifle. So there's a lot of things like that um, that, are, that are random elements that really change the way you experience the game. The difference from Payday 1 is just that we do a lot more of it, and then we also have added this thing we call escapes, which um, is actually a dynamic intervention in the mission flow that you might have had, and which puts you on a completely different map in, in, a, in a compromising position, like defending the, mon the loot that you just stole. So I think that's, that in, in and of itself was a huge, huge change for us. I think what's cool about it is the unpredictability it gives the game. Uh, Dynamics give people moments to remember when they play, and that's what you know. We want to give the people as many of those as we can.